What do I do with my hands? I'm talking about decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I really want to talk about how the smallest decision can change your life or how the fear of making a decision can also change your life. Talking about it in this video. So if you want to come along on this little video journey of how decisions change your life, well, stay tuned. What's going on guys, Patrick here. Today, we're going a little off topic from the whole stock market day trading world. But I also think this is very relevant to day trading, stock market, and all that fun stuff. So it kind of goes back to the idea, you know, if you take a trade and all of a sudden it goes up 1000% and you become a millionaire over a night, well, that one decision, I don't know why it's so hard for me to say decision, that one choice that you made just changed your life forever. Now, it's not always that simple. You know, you can't just go and pick a stock and get rich overnight, or can you? MBOT today went up over 300%. So there is a possibility, if you get really, really lucky, there's a possibility it might happen. But the problem is obviously, are you gonna buy the bottom and hold it all the way to the top? Probably not. But let's talk more about life decisions. Now, if I look back at the last 10 years, I look back at the littlest, tiniest, most unimportant little decisions. I look back at those and now today I'm like, wow, that little tiny choice that I made 10 years ago brought me to here. Now I'm here, right? So I'm here 10 years later. I've been a professional filmer for 10 years. I've been basically doing what I'm doing today for the last 10 years, minus day trading and all that. But overall, I've been making videos, talking to cameras, traveling the world, for the last 10 years. And now I'm 30 years old. What do I have to show? You know, I've got videos online. I've done a lot of stuff, traveled the world and all that, but I've got to figure out, you know, what's the next 10 years? What choice am I going to make tomorrow that's going to change the next 10 years? And I think that's kind of the hardest thing for me right now. I'm battling this idea of like, what if I make the wrong choice? What if I don't make the right choice? What if I don't even make a choice at all? What if I just keep going this direction for the next 10 years and I look back and say, wow, that was the wrong choice to make. And I think that's also this emotional kind of fear that and when you start to realize that your life is nothing but little tiny choices, that then dictate your whole entire life afterwards, you start to think about every single choice that you make and you start to become hesitant. You start to second guess yourself. You start to think, is this the right choice? Should I take option A? Should I take option B or maybe C? And that's really where I am right now in my life. I'm happy. I've got plenty of money. I can really do anything at this point. I can go anywhere, do anything, buy basically anything within reason. Now I can't go out and buy a million dollar house. I can't go out and buy a million dollar yacht, but in terms of what I actually need or want, I can basically get those things, do those things and experience whatever I want to experience. But then I also have to ask myself, what are those choices? What are those ideas going to do for me in the future? And what investments am I making today that are going to pay off tenfold 10 years from now? You know, investing in myself paid off 10 years ago because I invested in Patrick Wheeland. I invested in what I was passionate about and now I'm reaping the rewards. I planted a tree 10 years ago and now the apples are falling down every single day and I'm able to basically just sit underneath the tree and eat apples all day, if that makes any sense. Apple trees, apples, and the tiniest little, the tiniest little choice. Is it going to change my life forever? In the past, you know, things have happened. I've made bad choices. I've made the right choices. I've made choices that I thought were the right choices, or I made the wrong choices that I thought were the wrong, right choices. The one good thing about life or Maybe it's a bad thing. You can't go back in time and change the choices. You know, the choice that you make right now is going to last forever. The same idea is if you buy a stock right now in this moment, the only thing you can do is basically look for an outcome. There's no way of going back. If I make a choice to buy a stock, I can't go back 
and re not make that choice. And at the end of the day, nobody knows exactly what's gonna happen, what's gonna be the outcome of every single trade or every single choice. That's really just part of the emotional battle with trading, but also the emotional battle with life. You know, if I have an opportunity, I try to always weigh the options. I try to look at the opportunities and I try to weigh the options. If I don't go on this one trip or if I don't take this one opportunity, what's gonna be the outcome? What's gonna be the reward? What's the risk? What's the reward? For an example, let's say I have 20 hours in a day and I have a couple things I need to do and I make the choice to spend those 20 hours on whatever it is that I'm working on. Is it the best use of that time? Is it the best trade? Am I trading time for money and in the end, what's the ROI on that? And a lot of people don't think like this. They think about you know, going to work, making money, going home, and just doing it repeating, repeating, repeating. But for me, I'm at the point now where time is money. And that's one thing that I've realized recently is I'll never have enough time in the day to do everything that I want to do. I won't have enough time in the day to do everything across the board to the best of my abilities. So I really had to focus on what's gonna be the long-term plan. If I make the choice to focus primarily on YouTube, is that going to be the best ROI in the future? If I spend 20 hours a day, every single day for the next year working on YouTube, what's gonna be the ROI on that? And then also I gotta ask myself, you know, when I'm working on with other projects, working with other clients, is that the best use of my time? So again, it's always this battle of making choices. Now, like I said, I'm 30 years old. I've got a lot of choices to make. You know, how do I wanna be remembered? What's the story of Patrick Whelan's life? What is gonna be the impact? Am I going to actually have an impact that's gonna last longer than I last on the earth? I wanna spend my life working on something that's going to outlive me forever. I wanna put in time, I wanna put in effort working on something that's going to be bigger than me. I wanna build something that will continue on into the future, and I'm not sure that the day trading YouTube videos and all that are going to be that thing, but I do believe that the YouTube, the channel, the videos are going to help me find that next thing. When I first started filming, what I wanted to do was make videos that created an emotion that really got to people. It got to people in the sense that it either made them excited to go out and wakeboard or made them excited just to go out and live, explore, travel, and have fun in life. That's always kind of been my MO, you know, creating content, disrupting markets, doing what I do best. And that's basically creating a commotion. Now, again, I'm at that point, that turning point, that turning point in my life where I have to decide what's next. What do I do next? What am I working on today that's going to pay off 10 years from now? 10 years later, I'm reaping the rewards, but I have a feeling that this apple tree that's now feeding me, that's now giving me the life that I live, that it might not last forever. So I've gotta be thinking about what's next. What's that next choice? What's that next flip of the coin that I take that's going to change my life forever? I'm here right now, I, I can just feel it. I know deep down that I've gotta make that choice. And you know, kind of tying this all back with day trading, in the moment when you're about to take that trade, like this morning on NBOT, when I was buying it at $4, little did I know it would be $11, but when I bought it at $4, nobody knew that the stock would go to $11. I mean, there's nobody out there. People will claim they knew, people claim that they called it and all that. But I made the choice to buy it at $4, I made the choice to sell it at $4.30. And that's the choice that I had to live with forever. I know for sure, 100%, there's no way that I would have bought it at $4 and held it till $11. Looking back, in hindsight, looking at the chart now, I can see myself being like, you know, was it the right choice? Did I make the right choice? Somebody asked me earlier on Instagram, how do you get over the feeling of missing out after you sell for a profit and the stock still goes another 100, 200% higher? You know, how do you get over that emotion? And that's something you have to learn over time, something that I learned, that you can't look back at the choices that you make day trading. You can't sit here and dwell on what could have been different. You can't sit here and think, if I just would have held it longer. You can't sit and think about, if I would have had a better entry, if I would have made 
the right decision because now that will affect your emotions going forward. When you're thinking about the next trade and you're thinking about taking profit, that emotion from MBOT is now going to affect your trading in the future because let's say tomorrow another stock has a similar move. Let's say in the morning it gets to $4, I buy 5,000 shares and all I'm telling myself is, that I'm going to hold it until the top. It's gonna to go all the way to $11, just like MBOT. And now it's a different situation, and that $4 stock is crashing. It's at $3.50, and the emotion is taking over, and all I can think about is how yesterday I missed out on a major move, and then today I just gotta hold it because it's gonna go higher, right? It's gonna go higher, and that's really the worst emotion when it comes down to day trading, you know, what happened yesterday isn't always going to happen again. Just because MBOT went up 300% yesterday does not mean that another stock is going to do the same thing or that MBOT is going to continue higher. And going back to my life choices, I had to make the same choices. You know, do I quit working so I can now become a professional videographer? Do I leave everything behind to make a choice that could possibly hurt me in the long run, or do I double down? Do I really buy the dip and invest in myself going forward? So I really gotta figure out how do I plant the seed today so that I can reap the rewards going into the future? And that's where I'm at. Just kind of sharing where I am mentally, overall, in my life, my business, trading with this channel. So I'm sure somebody else out there is in the same exact place that I am right now. You know, you have to make that choice with your life, with your business, with your work, whatever it is. I'm sure there's somebody else out there watching this video that is experiencing exactly what I'm experiencing now. Maybe you're younger. Maybe you're just beginning your career. Maybe you're trying to choose between going to college or getting a job or going into the military or traveling the world. What's gonna be the choice that's going to set yourself up for the future? I would never have been able to imagine where I am today. If I would have wrote down where I would be in 10 years, there's no way that there would have been where I am today. I probably would have thought that I would be filming in Hollywood or still filming wakeboarding movies or maybe surfing movies. But I don't think I would have ever been able to see myself being where I am now with trading, with YouTube, with social media, because social media wasn't around back then. So that's kind of the hard part too, is you just never know what's next. You know, what's gonna be the next big thing? And at the end of the day, you just have to invest in yourself. Make sure you focus more on building the skills that you have to be successful and no matter what you choose. If you choose to be a lawn care specialist, invest in yourself to become the best lawn care specialist. Don't worry so much about making the choice to the point that you don't actually make the choice. Hesitation will kill you, but also you just gotta follow your heart sometimes and you gotta figure out what's gonna make you happy. If all you're worried about is making money, you're not gonna be happy either way. Even if you make millions of dollars, you still won't be happy. You've gotta find that thing, find your little niche find one little thing make a decision and follow that path do i keep doing youtube do i do something totally different do i quit everything do i walk away what's going to be the next opportunity for me and that's just coming down to the idea of making that choice and figuring out what do i enjoy what do i love what am i happy with i know at the end of the day i'm pretty happy doing what i'm doing right now but i just got to kind of figure out you know is this the best use of my time going forward. I don't know, maybe that helps you guys thinking about day trading, making that choice. You know, the littlest choice today can set yourself up for the future. You know, maybe cutting that loser off early, it might hurt today, you might have a red day, but tomorrow that equity that you save might end up saving you and you might make more money tomorrow because you cut the loser today. There's all these little choices always happening every day. Millions and millions of choices are made. And nobody really knows the outcome until afterwards. And that's just how it's gonna be with trading, with life, with relationships, with business, work, everything. You gotta make the choice. You gotta make the choice, baby. Let's go.